And thank you once again for joining us here at Apple One to One Training. We would really appreciate you guys if you give us a like and subscribe. We are appreciative of the growth that we have had on this channel. And today we're going to continue our training journey talking about a service that Apple has had for over a decade. And I feel like it's one of the best services that I and the, one of the longest I have ever subscribed to. And that is iTunes Match iTunes Match gives you access to all your music on all your devices, even songs that you imported from other sources such as CDs or other me methods that we won't talk about here. The concept of iTunes Match is taking music you already have from CDs and other sources that you've downloaded into there and sync it directly to your other Apple devices or computers so that you can have access to them. This is different from Apple Music, where Apple Music, you are not the owner of that music, you are streaming it, where iTunes Match, you own the music or you have the physical copy. This includes iTunes Store, CDs, and things like that. So, we're gonna show you the method on a Mac. Now, there is a feature that you can turn on on Windows for this. So of course, Windows still has iTunes. So you can use the Apple Music app or iTunes to do this. And I'm gonna show you how to add. So just to, there is an article that talks about how to do this and how to subscribe to iTunes Match, which I'm gonna show you on the Mac side of it. Make sure you have the latest version, of course, and then we're gonna talk about how to sync it. So I'm gonna to go to Apple Music. And now we're gonna to go to the iTunes store. So you must make sure that you go to the iTunes store pane. Here's all the music that you can purchase. You can scroll down the bottom and then you will see an option very small down here called iTunes match. You click on this. And then because I'm already subscribed, I am already added here. So all I'm gonna do is add this computer. So if you already subscribed on another computer that you have, you could say add this computer. You will then sign in with your Apple ID and password. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on a few features here so with that you're going to have. So number one is cloud download. This just shows you you can download those files. Now you'll notice that some of them have downloads some some don't. The ones that have downloads are clearly ones that I have input in myself. Also, I'm going to show cloud status. So this is a good idea because what you're doing now is you are seeing what's Apple Music and what's not. And this is a great idea. So if I click cloud status and you will see that this is matched. Now, another thing that's not great about Apple Music is that songs can go away. So, for example, there are a lot of wrestling stuff I like to listen to. Geronimo, for example, is gone from Apple Music. Long Train Run, Long Train Run from Doobie Brothers is gone. Like, why is that gone? Like, so this is an example where things can go away from Apple Music, and it's going to ruin your journey as being an Apple Music user. Where iTunes Match, you own it, however way you got it. So you can see here that I have Match. So these are all things that I brought in myself and that they were brought up to the cloud. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a song to show you the progress of that. So I'm gonna go to my finder. I already have Natalie Cole, this will be. I'm gonna drag it right to music. That'll bring the song in. For copyright purposes, of course, I muted it. And now let's do this by date added. I love having the order of date added here. So I'm gonna go there and scroll up to the very top. That's just the wrong side, there we go. So here's Natalie Cole, I'm just gonna take her song here, I'm just gonna highlight that, and then take this will be, I'll move it over to artist, and now we're all set to go. Now, you see the status is waiting, so what I have to do is now, on its own, it will go up on its own, but if I wanna force it, I'm gonna do that. So under file, I'm gonna to go to library, update, cloud library, and this is the feature that will be for iTunes Match, so I'm going ahead and do that. And just so you can see the progress on the bottom here, I'm showing you the progress of it going up. What I'm then going to do is show you on my iPhone that progress. Because if you decide not to do this and you have your own stuff, you have to go the old-fashioned way. You're going to have to plug it in and sync everything. Where And this will also sync your playlist too. So if you have playlists that you've created on here, they do automatically sync. All right, so that is complete. And now we're going to go to my iPhone. I'm going to go to songs, I'm going to go and I'm going to type in, oh, it just popped up on its own. See, I didn't have to even do anything. I was about to even search for it, but it takes some time, so I mean, I'm doing this right away. But this will be showed up right there. They even have the album artwork, so the other thing that iTunes Match does 
The other thing that iTunes Match does is that it'll upgrade the quality. So one of the cool things, it'll add album artwork, it'll do things like that, which is really cool. Now, I will tell you, there are some restrictions on this. You can't upload songs that are like very long. So one of the things you will, i see if I can find a, an option here. So I'm scrolling down to my library and you're gonna see I have three songs right here that were not uploaded. There are reasons for that. Sometimes I will tell you, like if you have a long DJ mix and you created that and you want it to go and sync it across, it will not allow it. There are restrictions. They're, they try to match what's actually on app their store and try to confirm that it works so for example if i take like a recording like right here i have a recording of music it's not going to take that because it's not a real song and it understands that so there are restrictions plus if you have higher quality audio like tiff uh, if you have higher quality audio like aiff style what it does is it will it may convert it into something else and you want to avoid that now going back up here you will see library you can go ahead and this is where you kind of force the library, again, to be upgraded. You can also, again, using the cloud status, you will know what's not allowed to work anymore. So, like, a good thing is if you know that this song is not going to work anymore, maybe you want to go get the version of it. Like, I'm upset that this version's gone. Like, Save Tonight Live, I love that song. And probably Eagle Eye Cherry, very upsetting that that's gone. So, that's an example, and you need to decide if... Your Apple Music track is gone. Maybe you can buy it or you find another way to get to it. Now, to subscribe and pay for this, it is $24.99 a year. So for $25 a year, you will be able to up subscribe to iTunes Match and you'll get billed every year. This is a service that I absolutely love. It's one of the best descriptions, and I'm surprised Apple has not put it into Apple One because I think it would definitely earn that status being a part of it so that's a little bit about itunes match i hope you guys got an idea about it and i think that it's a hidden service that apple does not promote enough and i would love for them to do that but of course apple music is more the way to go they don't have to you're not physically buying the actual song so i get why they're doing that but i can promise you that if you decide to go to itunes match and use that especially for windows users and if you just don't want to have to plug in your physical phone to your machine and get the songs right away that you want or where you get them from i think you will enjoy the experience thank you very much guys and i love every single one of you